A groundbreaking gene therapy is creating life-changing possibilities for children with the most common form of muscular dystrophy. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here now to explain the treatment. Liz. Well, Rod, Angela, this gene therapy treatment recently got FDA approval. It is designed to slow the progression of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. When Connor Stoll's parents watch him at the playground, they see hope for his future. He wants to do a lot of things and we're like, OK, let's do it. Like you, you have that chance now. Connor was five when he was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD, the most common form of the genetic disease that causes progressive loss of muscle mass. We noticed that he was having difficulty running around. He couldn't quite catch up with his peers. Within months, he joined a clinical trial and became the first patient to receive a single infusion of a new gene therapy developed at Nationwide Children's Hospital. The treatment is designed to fix the mutation and slow the disease's progression. I have devoted my life to this. Connor's doctor, Jerry Mendel, saw his first Duchenne patient 50 years ago. He envisions one day using the gene therapy on newborns. If we can do that very early in the treatment, we can essentially rescue the muscle before it's severely damaged. So the breakthrough in this early group will have profound influence on the field. Five years after his infusion, Connor's parents say they've seen no regression. A lot of kids his age are losing ambulation and are in wheelchairs. He can still climb stairs. You know, he can still run at his own speed. Because the therapy is so new, Connor's parents don't know exactly what the future will bring, but it has already given him a childhood that once seemed impossible. And until the development of gene therapy, most treatments could only address the symptoms of muscular dystrophy, including cortis cortisoid medications, guys. All right, Liz, thank you.